All right, so now that we've already set up the security policies, we're going to want to go back into that in case you haven't set up your audit log already. It's under a local policy, audit policy. You're going to want to make sure every single one of these boxes are ticked. long and really tedious but it can help you find a lot of different things not really maybe in competitions necessarily but there sometimes are for instance questions that are based off of your audit logs even if they aren't enabled when you go into it you will have to know how to view audit logs sometimes it's very possible that especially in the real world you could find something in the audit logs so now we're going to bring up the run dialog again by pressing the Windows and R key. And we're going to type in event vwr.msc. That should bring us to the event viewer. And if you go into Windows logs, bring up a list number of events for all of these so let's go to setup and wait for it to load up all of the audits and here are all of the audits that have happened on this virtual machine these are all the different things that have happened to this computer basically so you can scroll through the super long list There are so many different things your computer will track. Now, system. There are a bunch of different informational things and warnings. Let's see one of the warnings. Default size is being used for a pointer device to compensate for the missing physical size information. So nothing really that special. It's just saying something for your graphics has changed to fit something better. Or let's see this error. Different servers, different server errors. The time service is not synchronizing with system time with the time so with the source time. Dot, time dot windows dot com. Basically, the more boring end of your computer. Like this is the random kind of stuff that happens that you don't really notice. Like this is something like if you're like if you're using a laptop and your laptop dies, or if you're using a PC, your PC gets unplugged, or something's wrong with your computer and it just decides to shut itself off. You can see it here. The system has rebooted without cleanly shutting down. First, this error could be caused if the system stopped responding, crashed, or lost power unexpectedly. So, like your computer dying, your computer getting unplugged, all that kind of stuff. That'll be tracked there, so you can see that too. This probably is the same one. Yep. And those are all of those events for application. There are probably quite a few in here too. Like this, the user profile service. Detecting your registry file is still in use by other applications or services. This file will be unloaded. This tracks a bunch of different application stuff. You can see errors if stuff cannot be loaded and its description of what other errors are involved. There's a warning right here. Application cannot uh, is not supported on this version. You can find that. Basically if you get an error on your computer when you're trying to open a program or mid use of program you can go here and normally it'll give you more information like if I take this error Bring this up so this is my primary view. I can go into the details tab. And once it loads, it'll give me a very extensive list of different things that can help me figure out what happened. You can also bring it into an XML view. There's so many different things you can do. Uh, there is actually a forensics question. 
that has asked before your uh, there is an error in logins, and you had to go into here to find out information about the computer that was unrightfully logging in. So you could find that computer and enter that. Like, all these are from when I was changing audit policies. So many of those. And that's pretty much it for the event viewer.